So on to our sixth handler next, and uh, they're going to be performing to Car Wash, a uh, familiar track to many of you, I'm sure. And this is Trina with Joey, a lovely Border Collie dog. Then nine, he's nine years old. Now, uh, they've been competing in freestyle for four years, and Joey's a freestyle and he worked music champion in Denmark. So it's 26.40 they've got to beat. these different types of routines you can see in the sport are coming thick and fast because there we had sort of more of a story based routine they were obviously washing their car and the first we've seen with a few props as well and those props will be analyzed by the judges as to whether they were used enough um, and so that will come under the musical interpretation part they'll be looking at were those props relevant to the routine so there's our scores for our Japanese team. Uh, the little, lovely little colleague called Alina in the fourth place with 23.17. And so different to the car wash we've just seen. This was more of a dancey, floaty routine, very graceful, uh, which really suited this team. 
And these judges, they have a hard job because they've got to match each of these routines against the criteria that are laid down in the rules. Um, and even if they don't like the music, they've still, because they're experienced, they can appreciate that the, the team are working well with that track. They're interpreting, uh, interpreting it really well, using the accent, the lyrics sometimes um, in the music. So on to our seventh handler, and uh, this is a lovely little border collie bitch from the Czech Republic. She's nine years old, and they're going to be performing to Narnia. They've been competing in freestyle for eight years, and this is their first time competing at Crufts. Well, there was a lovely range of moves there with that team. 
and hopefully that will do well under our first section, which is content and flow. The judges will be looking to see varied content and uh, making sure that the moves flow naturally from one to another. And that one again was one of those nice, graceful pieces of music. Graceful Handler helped that out as well. And we can see now our scores for Trina and uh, her lovely border collie, Joey, performing to Car Wash, 23.90, into fourth place. So it's uh, quite close in some of these scores coming in, but uh, first place is still being held by our number one in the running order, which was that Jack Russell on 26.40. So, hopefully some nice content in our last team there. And uh, we're going to be shortly moving on to our next competitor. But you can see the brilliant way that some of these handles are so creative with their, with their thoughts and routines with these music. And one thing that struck me watching that last dog was uh, uh, you have to be actually really quite good at mixing music because these tracks of music, they don't just all end at four minutes. And that's how long these dogs are working for, up to four minutes. And so sometimes you have to be quite good at getting the uh, music down to four minutes or up to four minutes. You have to be, you have to get used to actually editing music so that it can uh, not sound like you've got a, a really sort of cut in the middle of your music where you've had to cut out a bit. So uh, our next competitor is a Legato. And of course, a Legato has already done well this year on Thursday, one of the uh, gun dog group. This is Bella. She's an eight-year-old bitch all the way from Norway. They're going to be performing a medley from My Fair Lady. So it's their first time competing at Crufts. They've won the Norwegian Championships in 2022. So we wish them well. Kiss me, 
Shadow, how you'll miss me, but get me to the church on time. If I am dancing, roll up the floor. If I am whistling, me out the door. If I'm getting married in the morning, ding dong, the bells are gonna chime. Kick up the rampus, but don't lose the compass and get me to the church. Get him to the church. For God's sake, get me to the church on time. I'm getting married in the morning. Ding dong, the bell are gonna chime. Some blokes I go. Lift up the table and get me to the church on time. If I am flying, they shoot me down. If I am wooing, get her out of town. For I'm getting married in the morning. Ding dong, the bell on the chime. Feather and Tommy, call out the army, but get me to the church. Get me to the church, oh, for God's sake, get me to the church on time. Please get married in the morning. Well, what a happy little dog that was. Really enjoying its time out there in the main arena. And uh, didn't stop wagging its tail, I don't think, throughout. And that's so lovely to see because, uh, you know, you want your dog to be enjoying it. And that can only be achieved, as I said earlier, through uh, positive reinforcement using the toys and treats. And you've got to remember that each of those moves has to be taught individually, and then it has to start to be put into sequences. So it takes a lot of training there. So here we have our score for our check for public handler, which was Angie. And that's 23.17, goes into fifth place. A little tiny deduction, deduction there for perhaps a little bit of noise that they heard. So there we had our Czech Republic handler who has just gone ahead of our Japanese handler. Uh, that's because in the rules, if there's identical scores, they look at musical interpretation and whoever has the highest mark in that goes ahead. So obviously uh, our Czech Republic handler there with Angie just had a little bit more in their musical interpretation. Than okay, the Japanese handler. So we're on to our Hungarian handler next, and uh, that is Meredith, is the pet name of this dog. She's an Australian shepherd. They're going to be performing to I'm Always Here, Stroke Jaws. So I think those of you of a certain age will remember Baywatch. I think it might be something along those lines.
What a character that dog was. He really enjoying its time out there. And um, some lovely moments there. I mean, obviously using the resuscitation move. And that was a good example of, you know, you couldn't have done that in any other routine that we've really seen today. And that's about picking the right moves for the track that you're using. And so, you know, that would have gone well down with the judges because it's reflecting the choice of music. So there it is, our scores for our Legotto. 22.20 goes into seventh place.